Do you have a face for a dark room? Do people tell you you're ugly? Have you ever looked in the mirror and it cracked? Have you ever been to the zoo and people throw peanuts and food at you? Well, let me tell you what. Why don't you check out Mark's Wrestling Masks on Facebook. That's M-A-R-C apostrophe S. Mark's Wrestling Masks on Facebook. Because that's who keeps our ugly mugs covered too. Welcome to The Shiz Show with your hosts, Vader from Wish and NWO Machine and NWO Cat. Welcome, Hello. Vader from Wish. I like that, the LA Knight yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm doing the LA Point thing. Welcome yeah. back to The Shiz Show. Yeah. How's things? Pretty good. How yeah. about you? Did, hey, did well, you have that video chat yet? Ugh, yeah, okay. Eight weeks of I, I will and I can. Eight weeks. A, and yeah, still no uh, video something call. Something sounds fishy. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, something does sound. Uh, anyway, whatever it is, what it is, I'll get over it right yeah, away and yeah. uh, I'll just yeah, move on. Yeah. But yeah, eight weeks of uh, video call, the promise to me is still well, hasn't happened. The internet's a complex thing. Yeah, that interweb is. It goes is, down. Yeah. Like, you don't know. Yeah, at least something goes down. <laughs> so we're gonna so there's there's my so so yeah <laughs> and so, oh, here's my yep <laughs> your yep is gonna move on so yeah we've had an interesting week in wrestling where we've we've got uh, a new belt for your cousin oh yeah yeah it's the greatest belt ever <laughs> yeah yeah we're real original let's make a negative of what we're already using so i i, I like it to the gold dust yeah you know to yeah. the gold dust belt kind like, of yeah. wear the gold belt yeah but again, now he's Roman three belts. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I just think he's the most, he, he's definitely the most overrated and under wrestled champion of all time. And I think they're doing that on purpose. Yeah, because he can't. They have to be because the, now he's moving into, he's number four, I guess, behind Pedro Morales, Hulk Hogan, and Bruno Sammartino. Yeah. So you're telling me that this guy with three moves is in that same league? He's not even. Yeah. No. Well, the people will argue, but the Hogan three moves. Yeah. But. Hogan had work. charisma, and he could work. Yeah, where Roman Reigns, and different, right. and it was a different time yeah. too. So, and he and actually he was, wrestled. Yeah, for he it. wrestled, yeah. and he was doing other things too. Like he <laughs> so, had the Hollywood stuff going on, and sure, he had a cartoon. Oh yeah, he did. Yeah, what does Roman Reigns have? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. He's garbage. Yeah. He, he's got an uncle. That's yeah. it. He's got now. He's got three belts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, nothing. I don't even. I don't. Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. You got more belts than him. Who cares? I, <laughs> yeah, I'm machine nineteen belts. <laughs> yeah, you're the, the tribal queef. I, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. By the way, uh, happy happy month to you and well, thank uh, your you. family. I'm glad you yeah. acknowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I acknowledge them. Yeah. yeah. So we there we go. That's it. Actually, it's a whole season where I work. Oh yeah, yeah. the season. Yeah, tis the season. Whatever to hunt. Yeah, it's a hunting season. Hunting season. Now listen, mm. I this for the first time. I decided to hide the show topic from yeah, Vader. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. So. And uh, it, it's definitely hiding for a reason. Because well, if it's garbage, it's your fault. I know. So. But it I don't know what we're doing. It I mean, will. we never know. Like, <laughs> and, and you haven't gone pee. So, I mean, this, oh, this yeah. is something set up this before. This is something this totally... Is a, I figured a I pre micturation. <laughs> uh, that's a fancy word for peeing, by the way. I, I, figure, I figure, you know what? I, I figured... You're going to Myers me, so I may as well come up with a show. I, I came up with a show last oh, week. Whoa, once. So they, they better take the rest of the year well, off. You, I give you ideas, and you tell me to shut up. <laughs> you, call, <laughs> you call me fat. I've never, never said that. That was that filthy, no good for nothing. Uh, Collins, <laughs> the rebel. The rebel. Yeah, he's got to settle his ass down because yeah. he's getting a little chirpy. That's what, he's, that's what he does. Yeah, he's a rebel. He's a rebel. This is our show today, what and this it? spawned. And I did a lot of work for this. Oh, good. Well, it better be good then. So. It's going to be good. All right. Because I need your opinion on these, and we're gonna, I'm going to write a bunch of stuff down here, and then we're going to go over it again. Sounds good. Now, I looked at all the past, not all, well, the ones that I thought we could have some fun with, Intercontinental Champions. Okay. And what I did was it kind of spawned off something I put on the Twitter account. Uh, on the NWO Machine Twitter account, which is now our podcast, yes, solely podcast uh, uh, Twitter account. Um, and what it is is one's got to go. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, I like those. Oh. So what I did was I took all these Intercontinental Champions, okay. and you and I are going to pick. It's going to be a, like a match all right. between, the, between two of them. So I'm going to take two, okay. and you're going to give me who stays and who goes. Sounds good. And I'll do the same thing. So the first one I'm going to say 
is Ricky Steamboat versus CM Punk. Steam- now, now think about who goes and who stays and why. Okay. So who are you keeping? I'm keeping Steamboat. You're keeping Steamboat. Okay. I hate Punk. <laughs> now, but why do you keep Steamboat over Punk? What would be your reasoning? Reasoning, just uh, his style of wrestling I like. Yeah. Uh, just that era with, uh, I don't know, like, <clears throat> he's a guy that should have gotten a lot more, I think, out of his career. So we got to kind of celebrate the uh, ch- <laughs> the acknowledgement that he did get. <laughs> yeah. So, you're going to yeah. go with that. Okay. So I'm in agreement. Yeah. I, th- I think Ricky Steamboat had a better, <clears throat> I think he was a better worker. Yeah. I-, I think as much as Steamboat was slightly boring to I me, so. I-, I didn't yeah. think he was exciting. Like CM Punk to me is slightly more exciting. But in a wrestling sense, I'm mm-hmm. taking Steamboat. So that's that's so, that's the main thing. Just so you, one of he's, your, more, he's a better wrestler. Yeah, Punk's a better entertainer, and I like the rest the W for wrestling. Not you like the W not for wrestling. Wrestling. Okay. Oh. All right. Our next one here. Next one here is the Godfather. Yeah, I forgot. He was yeah, the job. Godfather and Val Venus. Who oh, would you boy. keep? Who goes? You know what? Who's beating who? I'm keeping Godfather. You're keeping the Godfather. He's a lot of fun. Uh, and okay, so Good I'm worker, a lot of fun, like, yeah. Okay, now I I would be in agreement. Godfather was a lot of fun. Yeah, as long as he stays as the Godfather and not the Good Father. Yeah. No, I'm not. We're, don't forget, we're, these are the they're past Intercontinental Champions. Mm-hmm. Val Venus, although I did get a kick when Venus came out, as much as I'm sure everybody did. Oh, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, okay. with the hello, <laughs> hello, lady. We yeah. always waited yeah. for that. And the ta- the towel and, <laughs> and the towel. And then he had some good vignettes. That, yeah, like, the stuff in the background. Yeah. But as an as a wrestling side of things, I still think match wise, Godfather to me is a, a more, more entertaining. Yeah, yeah, is a more entertaining match. Yeah, for sure. The, than the two of them. All right. Oh boy, you're gonna. This oh. is gonna be a tough one. Okay. This is gonna be a tough one. I don't know how you're gonna do this. Because for me, this one's going to be a tough. Mm-hmm. Um, Chris Jericho, Chris Benoit. Oh, keep Jericho. You're keeping Jericho. Why? Uh, again, work. So, sure. Like like Benoit. I, I hated that that diving uh, headbutt thing. I always thought that was stupid. <laughs> yeah, and we're and, and he was just like. Bunch I'm not of getting into the Benoit and, story. Yeah, no, people no, are no I'm not even cancel even, him. Even I'm not canceling that, him. Yeah, yeah. With, without you yeah. Know, as a wrestler, I thought he was boring. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a tough one for sure. Owen Hart versus Bret Hart. Those are dude, don't, a lot of people forgot that Bret Hart was Intercontinental. Yeah, champion. I didn't. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's how I first remember. Like, so uh, Bret Hart, Owen Hart, who stays, who goes? I'm saying Bret stays. You're going with Bret stays? Yeah. Um, I'm opposite. Oh really? This, yeah, this time only because, and again, yeah. I know what Bret did as the champion. Yes. And I think Owen Hart was a fantastic. He was. Like, yeah. You're right. This is a tough one. So. so I'm going with Owen, and you're you're keeping Brett. I'm keeping Brett. And, okay, so I have to keep that as a tie. So those okay. are staying in there. Those are definitely <laughs> staying in there. <laughs> so are you okay with this so far? How yeah, it's going? Uh, sure. It's just something a little bit different because yeah. so many people have so many different opinions, and I, I just thought this is kind of neat to see mm-hmm. who stays, who goes, who's in, who's out. Now, <laughs> China. Don't forget, she was Intercontinental I, Champion. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. People don't remember. China versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, keeping Ziggler. You're keeping Ziggler? Yeah. Again, just a uh, better worker, I think. Oh. You're keeping Ziggler. Yeah. You're, You're keeping China, probably. But. I am keeping China. For, for My reason for keeping China is because I think she was really the stepping stone for the females to get in there. Yeah. And and wrestle. Yes. So I think, and actually. Oh, no, that was Trish Stratus. Don't you watch it? Oh, Everybody yeah. should be thanking her. Oh, enough. <laughs> enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right. So. It, just for, for me, again, this is there's no right or wrong answer. No, no, no I It's know just that. who would you Thank take you. over? Oh, oh, yeah. I, was, I, I would answer. take Ziggler over China. So. <laughs> AJ Styles versus RVD. Oh. Now, let's not, like, RVD came from a. That ECW end. Yes. Right? And AJ Styles came from a lot of hard work of indies. Yeah, for sure. Way, to me, I think he, he had a harder he role. Grind, yeah, he, yeah, he had to grind a lot more than RVD. He, he so. was a grinder. So I'm going to go first. Yeah, I'm you, keeping AJ Styles. Yeah, same. Over same. RVD. Yeah. All right, so you're keeping AJ. I'm keeping AJ. All right. <laughs> Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens versus Rick Rude. Oh. I liked Rick Rude as a champ. You like Rick Rude as a champ? Yeah. I think so too. I just think Rick Rude had a better, and again, these aren't always heels no. versus faces we're doing. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm keeping Rick Rude, too, only because I think crowd interaction was better with Rick Rude. And and I think also, too, like, at that case, the the Intercontinental Championship for Rick Rude, that's probably the best he was going to get. Yeah. Like just in that era with the other guy, I couldn't see him being heavyweight champ. Yeah. Whereas for Kevin Owens, yeah, he he won those those mid card belts, but he was always kind of destined for heavyweight. So, yeah. yeah. All right, you ready? Okay. Kofi Kingston. Whoever is the <laughs> other one. <laughs> Kofi Kingston versus Mark Miro. Mark Miro is the Intercontinental Champ. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, Mark Miro. You're going with Mark Miro? Yeah. Why are you going with Mark Miro? Just because you don't like Kofi? I don't like Kofi. But let, let's talk wrestling side of things. Okay. Mark Miro. Still? I still like Mark Miro. You still like Mark uh, Miro? You know, no, forget it. Now Kofi's a better wrestler. Okay. Yeah, way better. He's, yeah. Uh, I'm just going for, like, crowd, like, let's say crowd interaction. I, I just, I hate the New Day. So. I know you're not, but he's not part of New Day when he was intercontinental. No. So, yeah. he, he, I mean, he still was, but he wasn't. Um, okay. Roddy Piper. <laughs> versus Eddie Guerrero. Rowdy Piper. Yeah, I actually agree. I'm not even going to go any further than no. that one. Uh, again, as, as as much as Eddie Guerrero is sort of the talk of the town for some unknown reason, yeah, I, I, I'm still not taking him over Roddy Piper. No. Roddy Piper could, again, and yeah. we've talked about this how many times, I have never been a big Roddy Piper no. fan, but yeah. if I'm looking for crowd interaction, heel, yeah. everything, Eddie was okay, yeah. but Piper came up in a, to me, Piper came up in that era. He didn't have his Latino music. He didn't no. have his cars to drive. He no. didn't have all that. He, he had was, his bagpipes. He, yeah, and even then, he really didn't come out with them no, so much. every now and then. Yeah. So it was a nice treat. And he had that stupid shirt with the panther on the front. <laughs> That's right. That shirt, but. That's right. Um, <laughs> but, but again, too, he's another guy that he probably was never going to get a chance at the heavyweight championship. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Eddie, was, he was getting that. At some point, it was obvious that. He was going to be the guy, yeah. whereas Piper just wasn't going to be the... He was a guy, but not the guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's true. That That is true. Um, Randy Orton? Randy Orton versus Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect stays. Yeah. I, like, as much as I like... Again, oh. to me, Ran, I, I can't take Randy Orton at his popularity now. No. I'm trying to take him. I'm trying to go, okay, let's see. Right, uh, you know. Mind you... No, I still got to go with Mr. Perfect. You got to go with Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Well, I might Orton. be. <laughs> Mr. Perfect. Perfect should be like the best of, like. The, the, well, he my, is. He's, he's absolutely perfect. Guy. He's absolutely perfect, yeah. right? Hang on. I got to cross these guys. Okay. Out. Yeah. All right. You a lot of words on that. Paper. I know. There's a ton of them. There's a ton of them. Ultimate Warrior. Well, okay. Let's not go about no, his no, work. No. You got to think. No, no. Ultimate Warrior. Warrior. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, you are. Ultimate Warrior versus Shawn Michaels. Oh, sh- I like Shawn as the IC channel. Like, yeah. Warrior. He was exciting, brought a lot of energy for the three minutes he'd be in the ring. <laughs> but Michaels just did a lot more with that that belt. So. I, I think if they were going to wrestle, I, I think I'd have to give it to Michaels too. Yeah, yeah, I would have to give it to to Shawn Michaels overall over the Warrior. We'll cross Warrior out of our yeah, list. Beat it. All right, Goldust, <laughs> Goldust versus Rikishi. Well, of course, yeah. Remember that. Yeah, we got to go with gold dust. gold dust. Tis the money. I didn't, uh, Rikishi had the belt. Yeah, Rikishi. I don't had even the remember belt. that. So. Well, they, they, I, I don't know how long. I can't remember how long he had it, but yeah. he was an intercontinental champion. Yeah. I mean, I give Rikishi credit. Still I, from, I love him from I, popping yeah. off that top of the uh, top of the cage into yeah. that. I mean, that's a big man. Yeah, going backwards, not yeah. looking, yeah. trusting the system. Oh, no, yeah. I'm a big fan of his. I always have. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't like how. Oh, he kind of let himself go there at the end. He was a little bigger than he probably should have been, but yeah. he still he could still move. Like I don't think it affected his work rate. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, now, now, now he looks like Lizzo. There's a <laughs> picture of Lizzo getting on a plane, and they put it side by I side. Know. With I Rikishi. sent you that. Yeah, you sent. Yeah, it to I me. sent you that. Yeah. yeah, I just think like Rikishi is. He was Lizzo before Lizzo was <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh. Actually, you know, I read something recently. Lizzo's thinking of. Of quitting the entertainment. Oh my goodness! Yeah, well, you could quit chips, but no, right? <laughs> she doesn't. Hey, like she's it. beautiful. Stop that! You stop that! You know, beauty is just a light there you go, switch fat away. Fat shaming people again. Beauty is a light switch away. Yes, it is. Every time I've been with someone, they but always ask me to turn the lights off. If you believe the internet, uh, she is the most beautiful <laughs> person in the world. So <laughs> that is uh, feminine beauty, right there. <laughs> stop it! But she can play a flute. I'll give her that much, which I didn't know. I thought it was. Yeah, it was one time at band camp. 
they're making a big deal about her playing that crystal flute that was from the Smithsonian. She's like a world class flautist, I guess is the word. So why would why not? Who cares if she's playing it? This is Lizzo. <sighs> Uh, can we, uh, can we move on? This is You're just jealous. She's way more talented than you. Well, uh, obviously, obviously, I can't eat that much chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't play that many flutes. No, I've never been to band camp. Oh, <laughs> well, you can go downtown. There's a parade. There's lots of flutes. Yeah, there's. Yeah, there's <laughs> oh. Can I go back to the show? You that, may, like you, what kind of pen did you give me? Some kind of. Wait, weird I got that for free at a. I can tell. I was at a, a conference for work. Oh my gosh. All it's right. It's like reusable, like cardboard. I know it is. It's, it's garbage. garbage already. Yeah. The notepad's good. It's actually, actually, it's biodegrading as we speak. Yeah, I think it is. So can we hurry up here? It's like we a got paper a lot of straw in your drink. <laughs> oh, who the blue hell decided to? Well, this idiot that's running our country. That's you know. Give me a paper straw yeah. in a plastic cup. In a plastic cup. Yeah. With a plastic lid. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, here, here's a paper straw wrapped in plastic. Like, it makes no because sense. a turtle's never put his head in a cup. Yeah. And right. who knows, maybe that turtle had a problem. Maybe. Maybe he was off to I bang know. a nice fat rail and some some libtard ruined it by pulling the straw. You know, it probably took him weeks to get that listen, straw listen. to the right depth to bang rails, and now he can't. I'm going to give you a 12-hour ban on this show. I just got another one. I know. Apparently you can't tell Canadian politicians to drive Jump their bike off. off, a cliff, off a, yeah. No, drive their bike off an effing cliff. Yeah. That apparently promotes uh, self-harm, but I wanted it to be a small cliff that he would survive. <laughs> And he continued to ruin Canada, but Twitter has no chill. Welcome to the Political Shiz Show <laughs> with Vader from Wish and How to Get Banned. Yeah, it's not <laughs> that was only 12 hours. I know. I had a three-day ban. Yeah. Because I tried appealing it, and I didn't I, even. Yeah, yeah. I, I used your idea. Just tell them you're giving them directions. So yeah, I did. you tried. And they didn't believe me. You so. tried. You tried. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, let's get back, back on. Well, yeah. I'm trying here. You're Intercontinental swerving, Champions. Everybody. We got a long way to go I here. Know. So Edge versus The Miz. I like Edge. Yeah, he's going to edge him out. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> he definitely edges. And again, nothing against Miz. Great worker, safe yeah. worker. I like him more now than I did like the Miz. Yeah. yeah. At first, I was like, yeah, I still looked at him from that MTV show and yeah. all that other stuff. And then he really developed and he's great now. But All right. Yeah. Can I move on now? You may. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gunther. Gunther. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Gunther. Versus Macho Man. Oh, Randy Macho Savage. Man stays. Yeah, Macho's yeah, got to do stay. way more. I like Gunther. Macho Man can't. Yeah. And the reason I'm, again, because Macho Man, he had so much going for him. He like, did. as much as I love Gunther, who's old school, I just don't think he had the moves no. and the old school wrestling talent. If Macho Man was legit against Gunther, yeah. I think it would still go and Savage's way. Macho Man made that belt exciting, too. Whereas Gunther, it's like, okay, yeah, he's got that belt. And, yeah. Mm. All right. Double J mm -hmm. versus Tito Santana. Oh, I know. Now that's, that's I, a tough one. I, 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 I like Double J. Yeah, I, I liked him too. Yeah. And again, as much as Tito is a great worker, a hundred percent. I was yeah. just gonna say, but I'm going back to characters. I'm going back to, and I'm looking at this wrestling side of things. Yes. As much as Double J takes a lot of heat, he's a good wrestler. He's a great wrestler. I don't care. Great what, on the mic. Yeah. Good gimmick. Like he. And that's sort of where I'm going, okay, who I yeah. take over, one's got to go. I, I yeah. Tito, to me, doesn't have as much pull for the Intercontinental Championship coming up in history. Right. Whereas Double J would have some history for compared sure. to Tito Santana. But at least Tito gave us the flying burrito, as uh, he did. Jesse called yeah. it. <laughs> 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 or would you stop, right? <laughs> <laughs> so Tito and Double J. Uh, now, this, is, this might be a little bit tough. Okay. Honky Tonk Man, mm -hmm. who again is like the longest intercontinental champion of all time. Uh, Honky Tonk Man versus The Rock. Honky Tonk. You would ditch The Rock? I would ditch The Rock. Why? I didn't like The Rock. No? I, I honestly didn't. So I, thought his, I thought his promos were annoying. They were good at first, but then they just became cookie cutter. It was the same cadence, the same tone, the same kind of, you knew what to expect. Like... And as much as, as much as I like The Rock, yeah. uh, I think I would take Honky. Because I, I did. I liked Rock. I liked him in the ring. I thought mm -hmm. he was funny. And you and I, in the past show. I like, him as an, I like him as an actor. Like, I yeah, don't, yeah. He's, he's done well for himself. Yeah. And I just think that in, in the end of things, uh, Honky Tonk is, again, I think Rock was a better wrestler than Honky Tonk Man. Mm -hmm. But entertainment side, other than the promos, yes. Honky Tonk would win. 
Oh, for sure. Like uh, Rock had the good promos, mm -hmm. and, and I mean the people's elbow always made me laugh when yeah. he did the leg shake, and you knew it was coming. <laughs> but wrestling side of things, other than the the punch, Rock to me just didn't have as much as Honky. No. Honky was kind of silly, and yeah, we like, Honky, it. Honky had to do more than the Rock. Yeah, like where's the Rock to show up and be the Rock and three moves and. So here's my last two. Okay. Badass Billy Gunn. Okay. Versus Big Show. Badass Billy Gunn. Oh, I was writing it down because that was mine. Oh. Yeah, I, I would, I'm definitely taking uh, B. Again, that's another another one of those ones where that's that. Other than being a tag team specialist, he wasn't going to get anything more than the IC belt. Whereas Big Show was obviously going to be the guy at some point. Yeah. Oh, okay. all right. So now, and you see where this is going? Oh, now we got to eliminate. And now we're brackets. elimination. This yeah. Is, this, this show's going to be three hours. Well, it's not, okay. Well, where are you going? We don't have Rogan sponsorship you, you, that we can go for three hours. No, I, but you know. I, I legitimately do have a brisket on, though. Do you? I do. When's, yeah. it, when's it finished? I don't know. I put on, it's, how many hours are we at now? <laughs> uh, we're at 20 hours. Oh, well, it should be ready for the end of the show, uh, and I can uh, eat. I hope so. You guys got to eat. And send you some home with your dad. For your dad <laughs> yeah, for so. your dad, yeah. yeah. So. Well, it's still going to sit in a cooler for about an hour. No, rest, no, just. Pound it. Yeah. I'll just check. Like I, you, you may have to take over for like a second while I go check the temperature. Are you serious? Well, I'm not burning the thing for this. Like, well, I'll tell you what. What? Why don't we? Uh, why don't we take well, a little? It, not yet. It's it's fine. Now oh, I still okay. got a few minutes. So. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I'll let you know when it's. Okay. Time. Well, you listen. Once I start this bracket, you're stuck. Yeah. I don't give a rat's ass. Oh, we can take a break. I mean, we got some burn. sponsors. We got to give some love too. So. Well, let's give some love to Capco. Yeah. And you go check your brisket. And. Here's our wonderful guy who makes wonderful belts. Yeah. Capco. <laughs> Say, pal, that's a sweet belt you got there. Hey, thanks, buddy. I didn't even have to fight anybody for it. What? How would I get something that looks just so sweet? Well, you could go to Facebook and you could hit up Capco Championship Belts. Or, or if you think you want to take a shot at the yeah, title, so buddy, Capco go belts, for great it. Great guy, That's check great him out. Belts, great belts, great Yeah, good stuff. So now we, uh, we, we've Thanks eliminated a belt. bunch of. Uh, of I guess you're uh, going back to Capco. Uh, pardon me, uh, guys, <laughs> from our Intercontinental Championship run. Mm -hmm. Now it's a three way. Ooh. Only one stays. Okay. Out of all this. Um, there were some honorable mentions that I, I saved okay. for this next round who oh. just fit in. Surprises. Yeah, some surprises. So let's go right off the bat. Here we're going to go. And we're going to knock, knock her down now. These are the Intercontinental Champions. These are, we're calling it, because online you see all these one must goes. Yeah. And we're taking her down. So here's our first match. Alrighty, our triple threat. Let's do it. Triple threat. Only one can survive. Kofi Kingston, Edge, and the bad guy. Oh, the bad guy. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. I I just don't see not because we're a bad guy friendly show, but just <laughs> yeah, between those two. He's, yeah. Well, yeah, I look at personality, you know, how he puts guys over. Yeah. Never Safe, lost popularity. How he works. Yeah. He never hurt anybody. No. Razor Ramon moves on to the next battle. <laughs> All right, Goldust mm -hmm. versus AJ Styles versus Chris Jericho. Jericho. You're gonna take Jericho out of all those guys. I think so. Yeah. I, it, like I like Goldust. Yeah, too. I, I was gonna say I really like Goldust, who obviously was ahead of his time. Yeah, and I still think that was his best character that he ever did to date. He always he was a good worker, believable, but I think Jericho. I'm with you on this one. I would. I just, just everything that he's like, he do anything. Like, yeah, and as much as all. I love AJ Styles, and that was why yeah. all those three three kind of different eras. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I still like Jericho the best mm -hmm. out of them all. So Jericho is moving on to the, to the next round. Um, Bret Hart, Ricky Steamboat, China. Now, <laughs> this is my elimination here is China. My first oh, one sure, out yeah. is China. Yeah. So and it's going to boil down two, to like, Bret Hart pretty, and Steamboat. They're pretty sim like similar. And they both are about as good as each other on the mic. So <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd keep Bret. You'd keep Bret Hart, so would I. Yeah. Okay. So so far we're wow, we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're sharing the brain. This we're sharing. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna move on okay. to. Uh, I'm gonna go to this one instead. Okay. Honky Tonk Man mm -hmm. in a three way Honky Tonk Man versus Double J versus Dolph Ziggler. Well, Ziggler's gone. Okay, so you're with me on that. Yeah, I'm keeping Honky. I'm keeping Honky Tonk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping Honky out of that again. Character wise, just yeah. and when he first started. 
Mm-hmm. Jesse Ventura was the first one to bring him in and try to push this guy, and everyone still hated him, yeah. and he became that good. Exactly, and and it stuck around like that. He's yeah, a, he was a one trick pony that just kept yeah. going. Like, yeah, I, I never got sick of it. So. I always liked. Him. I think part of the reason I, I was never a big Elvis Presley fan. Uh, see, so I, I was. It but. made it made it even better for me. All right. Mr. Perfect. No, I am. I'm so Mr. Like, Perfect. Well, that okay. explains a lot. Yeah. Whatever. Mr. Perfect. Owen Hart. Mm-hmm. Badass Billy Gunn. Mr. Perfect stays. You're keeping perfect. He's the best. The best. <sighs> and let me guess here. I, I well, Go ahead. What would you think I was keeping? I, I think you're keeping uh, probably uh, Owen Hart. No. I, I, would, I would eliminate badass. Okay. Owen Hart, again, because both of them died too young, obviously. Oh, yeah. know, one. One was a tragedy. The well, they both were. They were the but yeah. I, um, I still have to. Uh, I, again, I just I have to go with Mister Perfect. I, mm-hmm. I just I'm the same way. I just think that the promos, the wrestling is believable. Not that he, Owen wasn't believable. No, like, he was good too. Yeah, but I just think that Perfect seemed more polished. Yeah, for lack of a better term, Cal, uh, Owen still did that Calgary style. That uh, yeah, it's great in the yeah. Indies. I mean, it worked. He made it work, but I think uh, I like the perfect. Okay, <laughs> this one, I'll go with this one. Uh, these are the two uh, I'm going to, one special guest here again. Okay. The Shawn Michaels, All right. Heartbreak Kid versus Godfather Okay. versus Kurt Angle. Oh, Heartbreak Kids. You're keeping, yeah, so am I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of getting easier as we go. Like, like, well, it's going to be hard next round. The least. next round will be will be a tough round. So here's my last triple threat match here. Okay. It's uh, Rick Rude, mm-hmm. Macho Man, mm-hmm. Roddy Piper. Oh, man. I know. I know where I'm staying. And, yeah, and I'm staying with Macho. I'm, <laughs> I'm keeping Macho Man in there. All right. So yeah, That's yeah. a tough one because all three of them were. I, I know, and that's why I kind of left that one to last. So we got uh, two, four. We got, I don't know how we ended up with seven guys back. I think we Well, because you added extra and you can't math. Oh, well, shut up. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> trying to math again. I know. I know. Well, let's just give perfect a, a, a bye to the next round, and then that gives us six there. <laughs> okay, perfect. We'll move on just right. for that. Just, But I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you right now. Okay. Bret Hart? Yeah. Chris Jericho? Jericho. Come on. Yep. You're going with Jericho. 100%. No, uh, he's whatever Bret Hart doesn't have, Jericho has. So Jericho, they both work work the same, the same high quality work. But I think Jericho just brings a, a lot more character wise. Okay, you're going to be really screwed in the next round here. Okay, because of this. All right, just for what you did to me. Sure. No, <laughs> I didn't do anything. There's no right or no right or wrong answer. Okay, here we go. Okay. Honky tonk. Yeah. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Okay. All right. You're taking, and I'm taking Shawn Michaels, obviously. <laughs> so uh, now we, we're now we're in deep trouble here. Okay. Here's your three way dance to start off, and you have to take one. Okay. There is no, there is nothing going on here after this. I'm just glad that pen held out there. Like, it's just barely making it. <laughs> it's just barely making it. Now one's got to go. All right. <laughs> no I, matter. I, I, is that how this works? Is this what we've been doing the last 30 minutes? Like, no, it hasn't oh. because you're messing <laughs> Thanks, around Thanks, Machine. Here. One's got to go. <laughs> okay. Mr. Perfect or Shawn Michaels. Michaels can beat it. No. No? Okay. No, well, okay. Now we're okay. No, no. So uh, Chris Jericho, Razor Ramon. Uh, Jericho goes. Jericho's out. Yeah, I would have to say that. All right. One now. We're down to the final two. Okay. We're down to the final two. Shawn Michaels, because I'm keeping Michaels. Yeah, sure. I, I have to move him on to the next round for this. Okay. Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. No, <laughs> this is the this is the shooting the shiz screw job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going Michaels. He's out. No, I'm. Oh, well, he's I'm winning him. Yeah, he's winning. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm actually with you. I hate to say that, mm-hmm. and the only reason is because I know Brett did so well as the champion. Yes. So I'm going to take him out of the Intercontinental side, and I still think Shawn Michaels is a better Intercontinental champion than he was a World Champion. That's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. I, as much as I like Shawn Michaels, he's Mr. WrestleMania. Blah blah oh, blah. For sure. Now here's the trouble because they were both buddies. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. I know. And I know where I'm going with this. Okay. Already, Razor Ramon mm-hmm. versus Mr. Perfect. Oh boy, I'm I'm keeping perfect. Wow, you're keeping Mr. Perfect. Yeah, 
and I'm keeping a razor. Mm-hmm. Big surprise. Uh, well, it's it just, again just character side. Yeah. Uh, I liked watching his matches better than I like watching perfect matches. See, I, I like. I, I'm the opposite. Like, okay, I, I like what I like what uh, Scott Hall did, but yeah, I just think that uh, Kurt Henning did a lot more. Okay. But that's me, and and I'm I'm thinking back to like old AWA and everything as well. So I'm looking at how he's developed from there. Where Big Scott Hall was just yeah. Big Scott Hall, and he was kind of eh. yeah. okay. Shawn Michaels mm-hmm. versus Mister Perfect. This perfect. You're still taking perfect. Still taking out of perfect. All that. Yeah, Intercontinental. He was the man. So. Okay, Razor Ramon, mm-hmm. Mister Perfect. Did we just do that one? No. I'm still taking Mister Perfect, and I'm taking Razor Ramon. Okay, good. So. In the end, mm-hmm. uh, what we've boiled down to is that uh, you don't know shit about yeah, well, I know nothing about, about Razor Ramon. No. Well, yeah, you're you're the guy. That lives <laughs> so, so now I've been out to dinner with him or been to his house. Yeah, like somebody I, else here. I, but, uh, sorry, I have that connection. But I, I just uh, again, so now we're we're going to agree to disagree, which was, sure. I think this was totally fun yeah, because it, yeah. it, it gives us a, an angle. So it, when it comes down to things, in the end, what you've learned today on the show is that Vader from Wish, if he had a choice to buy. An action figure that was intercontinental placed on his mantle. Yes. You would have a Mr. Perfect one. I would have a Mr. Perfect And I would have a Razor Ramon one. Mm -hmm. And again, they're they're sort of from the same era, but not from the same era, right? So it's kind of neat to see. And again, for whatever reasons, and again, I think I did it pretty fair down the line. Mm -hmm. There were so many great intercontinental champions that we we eliminated um, for our own version. But again, to me, I'm not sure if I'm going Razor Ramon versus Mr. Perfect. I would say the Razor Ramon, and I'm not looking at the Scott Hall as is Scott Hall yet. Yeah, yeah. But Razor Ramon, the way he he was able to put one, two, three, kid over, the way mm-hmm. he was, his popularity never waned. Mm-hmm. It always stayed the same. Yeah. Well, That's yeah. how that would be my why I would take well, him, him and over Henry, Mr. either Perfect. one. Nobody's, yeah. nobody's going to have a bad match. For no, either one of them because no. they're good, they're both capable of yeah. carrying you and give an entertaining match. They, they could. They wrestle a stick and they. I know. It, like look like. And if you look at okay, let's look at bumps. <laughs> Even bump side of things, Mr. Mm-hmm. Perfect was hysterical oh, yeah. Yeah. and oversold. For sure. Scott Hall, yeah. when he decided he was he going to take stutter? the bump, oh. <laughs> he, was, he took bumps. He didn't have to put the kid over. He put no. the kid over. So that's sort of uh, that's a great thing. Mm-hmm. I, I really had a lot of fun on this show. Oh, sorry, but you know what? One thing I'm taking away from this is what? it just shows you how the sad state of the Intercontinental is now. Yeah. Because all these former champs and just thinking back to the era and everything yeah. they accomplished and the quality of the work and everything. There's been at least Gunther's he's, of, he's, bringing he's, bringing he's bringing it back. He's bringing back. I mean, some there's glory. been so much garbage in between that. <laughs> yeah. Like when I was writing this list in my head, I never thought I would come. I would, I never really thought to the end I would take razor. Mm-hmm. I really, as I'm writing that I'm going, okay, well, mom, it'd be hard for me to pull macho out of this. Oh yeah. And, and, and honestly, as dumb as it sounds, because you probably wouldn't realize that, I really, really like Kurt Angle, mm-hmm. and for me to eliminate Angle too. But I mean, he wouldn't be my ultimate. But no. I thought he might last longer in the rounds. And uh, what's well, as you threw him in at the end there? Isn't it? <laughs> he 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 got a buy into the other thing too. Mm-hmm. But there's so many good ones like yeah. Rock. Even Stone Cold was Intercontinental. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I never yeah. even I never put him in there because yeah. to me he's a better yeah. like heavyweight Mountie. Champion. I like the Mountie. Mountie was another good one, good. but yeah. again, Mountie wouldn't have made it to the end for me. No. And uh, I know what hasn't what is right at the end here. It's time. Oh. And that's not Vader time in the music. It's oh, this time. Nice. So, hey. Thanks I thought you were, were going to say it's time to get a new mask. Oh, well, yeah, you could get a brand new mask. I mean, we heard from masks, mask, mask band Mark at the beginning of the show. Yeah. You're more than welcome to get another mask. Always. I got a fancy uh, Vegas Golden Knight you one did. from it him. Yeah. Nice, yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, uh, until next time, keep kicking out. Thanks for listening. Thanks.